Hi guys, and welcome back to Journey with Sonia. I hope everybody is doing well. Alhamdulillah, I am doing fine. This video is going to be what is on my iPhone minimalist iOS 14 edition. So I'm going to show you guys what I have on my iPhone iOS 14 edition. So let's get started. So my first page, this is like my home screen kind of. So I have my calendar events. I like seeing it right on the screen because it shows me what I have going on. I have the weather. I also have battery percentage, which gives me the battery percentage of my iPhone and of my watch. I have my banking app. And of course, if you guys watched the very video before this, you guys would have seen I use zero for intermittent fasting. So I can easily end the fast or start the fast using that widget on the application so if you slide to the right you can see most of my applications so the bigger screens like this the fitness and the motivation these are widgets and these widgets became available with ios 4 which is super cool so I have <coughs> excuse me so I have the fitness application which is for my Apple watch as you can see I have my red ring my green ring is done and my stand during is just finished so then i have facetime photos camera clock maps app store health wallet settings phone weather this is a application called motivation it's a great application if you need motivation so let me show you guys what the application looks like if you click on the app it gives you motivation quotes which is amazing so let me get out of this then first folder i like organizing my apps into folders so i have calendar my fitness pal watch fitness which is previously the activity app apple music the watch app and the fitness app they're both for my apple watch the music app too music zero and then my gym app planet fitness in the second folder i have the chrome chrome browser and then i have my insurance application and then i just have messages on the second page i have find my iphone google translate contacts utilities which i don't use voice memos compass measure and calculator i have my verizon which is my cell phone company amazon facebook instagram Fetch Rewards, which is a great application for you guys to earn rewards. So, as you can see, I have 1,791 points. And you can cash out using different things, such as Amazon gift cards. You can get different things. They offer a $3 Amazon gift card. Different things. Target. Domino's, Dunkin', 
So all you have to do is when you go shopping, scan your receipts, take a picture of your receipt, and you earn points. Boom. So simple. So easy. And if you have an Amazon Prime account, you earn more points. So I have Amazon Prime, so I earn more points. Okay. So the next row after fetch, I have Facebook Messenger, Duolingo, which is the best language application app. Duolingo, I've been studying with that Duolingo now for five years. And by far, it's one of the best applications to learn a new language. I am currently learning Spanish, but they have a ton of different application languages. WhatsApp, HP Smart, which is for my printer. Disney Plus, obviously, I love Disney. My Chart, which is for my doctor's office. Twitter, DMV, Genie, which is if you want to get your license. I'm currently studying to get my license, so that application is really helping me. It's basically like your permanent test online. Amazon Alexa, Lumosity, which is a brain training game. NJ Transit for the buses. <coughs> and Apple Shortcuts. Next page, I have DocuSign, Prime Now, Motivation, which is the quote application that I told you guys about, Cam Scanner, Gmail, PayPal, Muslim Pro, my bank application, Daily Islamic Verse, Walmart, Uber, Games, which in this folder I have Word, Word Relax and Panda Cube Smash. I haven't played them in a while. Pick Collage, Pinterest, Snapchat, Notes, Google Translate, Research, which is for my Apple Health, and the Seven, which is a quick seven minute workout. So next, I have my calendar. That way I can look at my day. As you can see, tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment at 3 p.m. I have YouTube, of course. YouTube Studio. SwiftKey. AliExpress. Netflix. SoundCloud. Reminders. Sleep Fan. Optimum. Walgreens. I have more puzzle games. I have Word Bake. Word Farm and Calligraphy, which is a coloring application. I have the mail app to track the packages or anything. I have Google Home and I have Influencer. Next, I have pro pro Next, I have like college applications and stuff like that. So I have productivity productivity yes productivity so I have Google Drive and Google Docs next I have Google Maps ShopRite anchor which I do have an anchor podcast to learn called learn English with Sonia links are in my YouTube about me so please like comment and subscribe to that I have Best Buy, Uni Days, which is for college, and you get discounts. Yahoo Mail, Costco, HMH, which is for my doctors. Google Calendar, Word Trip Pro, which is another game, word game. Word Switch, which is another game. Then, these are all widgets. In game so I have my passwords crime junkie or the podcast application which is one of my favorites Apple music all my links another brain game and word sweaty which is another game word game and then I have my fitness which is for my Apple watch okay guys now I'm gonna show you guys how to add a widget on iOS 
14. So what you're going to do is you're going to click the top. You have to click on your home screen. Do that again. Click on your screen, but it has to be in the in a blank spot. You're going to click, 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 click on the little arrow that pops up and pick one. So I am going to pick mm, these are your options. I am going to pick let's do maps. Yeah, I'm gonna pick maps. So we're gonna say add widget and boom. There it is. And it's just my app library. And my background, this blue flowery. Blue flowers is off of Pinterest. I love blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. All right, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye, everybody. Peace.